Press Secretary Jen Psaki openly admits that the Biden administration is monitoring, tracking, and flagging what it calls misinformation, passing that along to Facebook so Facebook can restrict, uh, deplatform, censor, and ban users who are putting out information that contradicts the position of the Biden administration. Now, um, here's Jen Psaki talking about it. Uh, with these social media platforms, uh, and those uh, engagements typically happen through members of our senior staff, but also members of our COVID-19 team. Uh, given, as Dr. Murth Murthy uh, conveyed, uh, this is a big issue of misinformation, specifically on the pandemic. In terms of actions, Alex, that uh, we have taken, or we're working to take, I should say, from the federal government, uh, we've increased uh, disinformation research and tracking uh, within the Surgeon General's office. We're flagging problematic posts for Facebook uh, that spread disinformation. We're working with doctors and medical professionals to connect uh, to connected medical experts with popular with popular who are popular with their audiences with uh, with accurate information and boost trusted content. So we're helping get trusted content out there. We also created the COVID nineteen the COVID Community Corps to get factual information into the hands of local messengers. And we're also investing, uh, as you all have seen, in the presidents, the vice presidents, and Dr. Fauci. Time. What um, amazes me about this is the, first of all, sheer chutzpah, the um, casual way in which she presents all this, like, wow, nothing problematic is going on here. Let's think about what's happening. The government, the U.S. government, is working in concert with these massive private sector platforms to impose regimes of censorship on the American people. Now, of course, I recognize that the First Amendment imposes restrictions on government, not on the private sector. It says Congress shall make no law. Congress here referring not just to Congress, but also to the executive branch of the government generally. But the Supreme Court has consistently held, and not just in the First Amendment context, that the government cannot get around the Constitution by having private sector entities do things that are constitutionally forbidden for the government to do. So what that means in this case is if the government wants to censor speech, but it can't do it because there's a First Amendment, no problem. So what the government does is it tells Facebook, and Facebook does it. Facebook carries out taking instructions from the CDC or from the Biden administration. They do the will of the government. Well, according to the Supreme Court and according to a tradition of um, uh, precedence that goes back more than 50 years, and like I say, this also applies to other contexts. The federal government, for example, cannot violate the Constitution uh, in other ways by working through private entities. Uh, for example, it can't violate unreasonable search and seizure by having private entities do the search and seizure. Uh, it can't uh, violate other provisions of the Constitution simply by not doing it directly, but um, uh, conspiring or uh, colluding with private entities to do its will. So. Here you seem to have in um, Jen Psaki a brazen acknowledgement that they are getting around the First Amendment, which is to say violating the First Amendment and doing it uh, through these platforms that are posing as independent entities, but are in fact entities working as handmaidens of the state.